Ray Donnelly, and use Jimbo Channel. Don't forget, follow along on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the boop alert button so you know what's going on all week long. Follow us on Instagram, and please like and follow us on Facebook. You're going to get all sorts of cool content and bonus videos. Cheers, guys. Hi, everybody, and welcome to MD's Jindal Channel here in beautiful southeast Florida, where today it's a little bit gloomy, but anyways, what you drinking? What are you guys drinking today? Let me know. Let's see what's going on out there today. And before we get started, I just wanted to wish one of my girls, uh, Cassidy Tarbo, a happy 40th birthday. She just turned 40 over the weekend, and we had a great time celebrating with her all weekend long. So... Again, happy birthday, Cassidy, and I hope you have a great time on your upcoming road trip. So last week, we debuted the very last show of our summer road trip, and it was episode five, all about St. Augustine, and I hope you guys got a chance to check it out. It was really fun to make it. We had a great time on the ghost tour of the Haunted Pub Crawl Ghost Tour. And had a great time at the Sunset Grill. So if you didn't get a chance to watch it, just hop over to YouTube. Please subscribe and hit the alert button on YouTube so you can uh, help us out a little bit there. And you can rewatch it whenever you want or any of the other episodes. And also don't forget our Instagram and, of course, our fun TikTok. So make sure you guys show us some support and check it out. Okay, so let's get into some meat and potatoes, you guys. So, uh, twisted tea. That's all I got to say. Twisted tea. Now, this stuff has been around for 21 years. I mean, like, hey, Emily, how are you? So, this stuff has been around 21 years. And, you know, it was originally called Bodine's Twisted Tea. Isn't that weird? Kind of strange. Apparently, the folks over at uh, Sam Adams who actually owns them, said that they were named after two of the employees that worked on this, Bo and Dean, but they had to change the name because apparently there was a Milwaukee rock group called the Bo Deans. So they changed the name to just Twisted Tea, and I'm telling you, this stuff is everywhere. You know, I was just looking, and they have all different types. They've got cans, they've got bottles, they've got bag in a box, They've got, like we talked about last week, a new whiskey, a twisted tea whiskey. And get this, in Canada, they've got this one called cannabis infused good day iced tea. And it's got five milligrams of THC in it. You guys gotta check this out. I got a little canned picture up here. It's really interesting. So if you happen to be in Canada or are going to Canada, Check out this, it looks kind of like sunshine right here, this beautiful good day, yes, good day iced tea. And it's got cannabis in it, but we don't have this here in the United States yet. So hopefully, but you saw the bag in the box that I just showed you. You know, what do you do with all these twisted teas? Why is it so popular? That's the question. And where did it come from? I mean, I know it's been around for 21 years, but Take this bag in the box, stick it in your freezer, and make it into a slushy. <laughs> take it out to the beach. There's still a lot of summer left, so you can take this thing with you. They've got all these crazy flavors, half and half, peach, raspberry, and original. And it's crazy because the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally is going on as we speak, and I've been watching all my friends' pictures, and all I kept seeing everywhere was these blue Twisted Tea tents everywhere. Now... I don't know. It's kind of funny seeing some big guy walking around with a twisted tea, but hey, it is actually 60% of all their sales are to men. Probably because you're know, looking at 194 calories, 21 grams of sugar, and 25 carbs in this bad boy. So you better use this on your cheat day only, ladies. But okay, something else neat about this, and I can't get over I never tried a twisted tea till yesterday in my life. I happened to be out boating out here in the beautiful Treasure Coast, Florida. 
And my girlfriend and I got this crazy, stupid idea to shotgun the twisted tea. I can't even show you the video because it's so stupid. Never, I've never shotgunned anything. And I've made lots of shotguns for people over the years. You know, that's when you take the can like this, poke a hole right here, and you open this part here and you chug like that. Okay, it wasn't good for me. <laughs> Just, anyways, so lots of things. On the back of this is a picture. Okay, you can kind of see it right here. So they have a promotion going on at twistedtea.com. Take a picture of yourself or your friends, whatever, with your twisted tea. Or there's lots of products that people have made out of twisted tea cartons. They're doing purses. They're doing masks over your face. Show us the video. <laughs> Rick Scateri, I'm telling you, I'm almost crying here. It was so bad. I did the chug. I was like, burp, 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 and it went psh, everywhere. It just, I, I, I like to consider myself a pretty experienced cocktailer, but maybe later I'll post that video. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, back to this promotion, twistedtea.com. Take a picture of yourself. The craziest thing you made out of a twisted tea can or a cardboard container, whatever, post it on here. You could get chose to be on the back of these bottles. So, like I said, this stuff is everywhere. It's unbelievable. <sighs> Have I bored you enough with twisted tea? Probably. So we're going to make a drink. I've got two drinks that I've come up with with twisted tea. Like I said, I drank them yesterday, and they're pretty darn good. You know, it's a nice treat, but gosh, those calories will get you. But I got some ideas for that. So let me show you some fun things that I found out. So this first one right here, if you guys are near New York City, Jameson, you know, everybody loves the good pickleback. So much so that everybody's running out of pickle brine everywhere. Right now in New York City, starting August 26th, for free, you can have this Jameson experience. It is at the iconic Hudson Yards. Here's a picture right here. It's this really cool green Jameson cobblestone-like picture. Kind of reminds me of the New York New York Casino in Vegas. But you can go in here. They've got, it's a three-part experience. So they've got cocktail classes, tasting. It's all free. You just walk around, and it's only going to be going on for two weeks. So if you're in the area, Hudson Yards in New York City, you want to check that out. That's why I'm wearing these cute little 1984 inspired green feather earrings in honor of Jameson. Or if you head over to Traverse City, Michigan, you can stay overnight in a PBR motel. Okay, look at this. So this is the room, it's 185 bucks a night, minimum two nights, and it's just got all the old 80s junk in there and they are sold out. So, I mean, Maybe keep trying and seeing if it, anything comes available in the future, but that's something you need to try out. But, okay, so let's get into these drinks. By the way, you know, if anybody's in Miami, I'm so parched after yesterday's excursion. Mm. Mm. If anybody's in Miami, Bad Bunny, you know your little Puerto Rican rapper? He just opened a steakhouse. It's called Gecko, and it is in the Brickle neighborhood. And everybody was out this weekend. You had Beckham and Victoria's little cute little posh girl, spice girl. They were out. Everybody was down there celebrating the grand opening of Gecko. It's open every day but Monday. See if you can check it out. Japanese inspired, a lot of Wagyu beefs and all that stuff. All right. So what are we going to do with these twisted teas besides shotgun them? I thought, being from Rochester, New York, there's a really, really simple drink called an ice pick that everybody used to drink. And I know that I made this drink on this show a couple years ago, but South Florida, nobody really knows what an ice pick is. But so as if there's 5% of alcohol in this twisted tea isn't enough, take your Tito's, which is our unofficial sponsor here at MD's Gmail channel. Just put in a nice shot, however much you want. Fill up your twisted tea on top of the vodka, okay? How simple is this? Put as much as you want. Now, this is all booze, so remember that. This is all booze. Stick a little lemon on it. 
And you guys, how much easier can you get? This is a twisted ice pick, okay? Now, I haven't tried this yet, but I'm almost afraid to because, whoo, it's all booze. Ooh, ooh, it's delicious. Okay, cocktail number one. And you know, I see a lot of people ordering Long Island iced teas. And I ask some of them, why are you ordering a Long Island iced tea? And they say, so I can get buzzed up, man, before the night starts. I said, it's stupid, but all right. This drink here actually tastes good, tastes like tea, and there's none, all that mixture junk. This is just nice and refreshing. Okay, what do I know? Speaking of Long Island iced teas, you know what you can do? A Tokyo iced tea if you want to change it up. Just replace your triple sec with melon and replace your Coke with 7-Up. Tokyo iced tea, guys. Okay, here's what I got so you can see this. These are frozen twisted tea ice cubes. I just put some twisted tea in my little ice maker, and here we go. So this is what I'm going to call a little bit of an Arnold Palmer. Get it? So, okay, twisted tea ice cubes to fill. Then take a crystal light lemonade, so there's no calories in this. Pour it on top. Garnish it with a lemon. How perfect is this? Now, this is light because, you know, the twisted tea's got a lot of calories and sugar. But the crystal light lemonade, which is delicious, and I don't like the aspartame taste, is perfectly refreshing. So you've got your twisted tea ice cubes in your lemonade. Oh my God, that's perfect. So two great ideas with your twisted tea is the Tito's ice pick and your slightly twisted Arnold Palmer, if you will. Perfect, right? I thought so. That's okay. Another thing you can do, you know, Carnival Cruise Lines just lifted their vaccination ban. So now you can go on a Carnival Cruise, and a lot of them, the number one cruise port we all know is in Miami, and one of their excursions is to the Tropical Distillery. And this is the city of Miami's first distillery within the city limits. And this place looks like the Golden Girls threw up all over it. I got a couple pictures up here that, I mean, they've got wicker bar stools. They've got just, it's crazy stuff. They should be around here somewhere, but if not, that's okay. You guys will get the gist of it. They've got five unique liquors that they have going on. And it smells like when you're driving down 95 in Florida, you guys, do you remember the orange smell coming from Indian River growers up in Vero and that area? Oh my God, it smells so nice at night. So this place, Tropical Distillery, they've got five original liquors. They've got one made with Cuban coffee. It's a vodka. They've got a whiskey because the owners, they're twins. So it's a twins whiskey. They've got a sugarcane rum made with the Florida sugarcane in the rum. And it's just a great place to visit. they got a big patio. You can go out there and enjoy your Golden Girls themed distillery visit. But boy, I feel like I just told you an awful lot in like 15 minutes. So... Anyways, like I said, if you didn't see episode five of our summer road trip from last week, please check it out. I know our editing department worked super hard at it. And we're really proud. So check it out. And until we see you guys again, make sure you grab a twisted tea, take a picture of yourself, and have an awesome, awesome week, you guys. I think maybe because Rick Skateri asked, I'll post that uh video later so you guys can laugh your asses off at me trying to shock on a twisted tea. <laughs> all right. Until then, everybody, have a great, have a twisted night. All right. Cheers.